very special award we would like to present. And this isn't some award that we give every year or it's just some routine thing and we have to find someone to fill it. This is truly special and unique uh, because of what we, the Steamboat Institute Board, have observed going on um, with the University of Colorado. Bruce Benson has a long and impressive list of accomplishments in his life, but perhaps the most impressive of all is what he has accomplished in the past eight years at the University of Colorado. Bruce became president of his alma mater, CU, in March of 2008. He is the longest serving CU president in more than half a century. He oversees the system for four campuses. For those of you who are from out of state, you might not know, CU has four campuses, Boulder, Colorado Springs, Denver, and the Anschutz Medical Campus in, in uh, Aurora. They have a total of 67,000 plus students. During Bruce's tenure, CU has seen record enrollment and their total annual budget is nearly $4 billion. Bruce's accomplishments at CU in the past eight years include, among many things, their research funding has reached record levels. Um, as of 2015, it was $878 million, which funds research in biotechnology, healthcare, energy, and aerospace engineering. Bruce and his wife, Marcy, who's with him today, also chaired CU's $1.5 billion Creating Futures campaign, and they met their goal, which was the largest fundraising campaign in CU history, which provided funding for scholarships, endowed faculty positions, academic programs, research projects, and capital improvements across all four of CU's campuses. Also under Bruce's leadership, CU founded the Conservative Thought and Policy Program, which is part of the Center for Western Civilization Thought and Policy on the Boulder campus. The Steamboat Institute has been proud to partner with CU's Conservative Thought and Policy Program by co-sponsoring speaker seminars on both the Boulder campus and here in Steamboat Springs. This speaker series offers students and members of the Boulder and Steamboat Springs communities with an outstanding opportunity to meet and interact with the nation's leading experts on topics ranging from free markets, uh, free speech, uh, all the way to Supreme Court appointments. Under President Benson's leadership, CU has made huge strides in advancing conservative thought and policy. CU is setting an outstanding example for other universities around the nation by encouraging open inquiry, vigorous debate, and the free and robust exchange of ideas. The Steamboat Institute takes great pride in recognizing President Benson's courage and leadership by presenting him with this special Courage in Education Award. Well, first of all, I accept this. I'm very, very pleased and honored to get it. It's the first one ever. I hope you keep doing this every year. Keep finding people that are outside the box, making things happen in higher education. It's critically important to all of us. So I really applaud you for that. I don't want to say about the Steamboat Institute, what a breath of fresh air in the state of Colorado. I mean, she is countering all the lefty groups down south of here. We won't go into names, but that's the way it goes right now. So I think it is really important that what we're doing here, and I'm very proud, as Jennifer says, that we're working in collaboration between us. And the only thing wrong is we're not doing enough, and we've had a discussion over this last few days. Let's get together and do more. Let's bring in more people, and let's have more diverse discussions and get people out there really talking about it. So I'm really proud of that, but I will tell you that I believe that you know, le leaders get the award. How about the team? We got a big team of people. There's a couple of people here in the room today I want to acknowledge. Sue Sharkey, you heard about before. She is a regent. 
And I, can, I can't sit here and endorse this because that's not the way I operate, and I can do this because they are my bosses. So anyway, Sue's running against, she's done a great job for us. Heidi Ganahl is here also. She is running for an open seat statewide. <laughs> if, if Heidi's elected, she'll be an outstanding regent. So I just say thank you to both of you for the work that you do. Now we do have a really serious team of people. Now the next person on that team I want to bring up would, guess who? My wife, Marcy. <laughs> oh, I'm not done. No, I'm not. I'm up here, you're out there. <laughs> this one I went on. Marcy came from Washington, spent 19 years there. She did all kinds of different things, worked in the Reagan administration. She was in advance, she was political office. She went on to run the White House Fellows Program at about thir age 35, and I think all these really bright guys said, where do we get this political girl running our place? Well, it probably took about a month or so and they figured out who the real boss was, because I've found the same thing myself. <laughs> so. She's done a great job there. She worked for the Reagan administration, then for the George H.W. Bush administration, surviving the change of the two administrations and doing all that. She came to Colorado, got immersed in our whole community, doing many, many things. I'm gonna just point out one most notably. She and I were both working to talk our people in the administration into moving our health sciences center out to the old Fitzsimmons Army base. We have a brand new campus out there now. It's been built over the last 12 years. We're already out of space but she pushed Children's Hospital to move out there. She was on the board, she chaired the drive, or co-chaired the drive to raise the money to make them come out there. She's done a hell of a job for them, and I can't thank her enough for what she has done for the state. So she's also now my partner in everything we do, and she's very, very involved in this university, and I can't thank her enough, and I say it all the time, I couldn't do the job without her. So Marzi, thank you so much for being part of this ama amazing team. <laughs> I, I do talk about team a lot because that's what you are. If you're going to get anything done when you've got 29,000 employees from the budget that she just mentioned, this is a big operation. So I've got four chancellors. Now, I'm going to tell you, if they aren't going to play on the team, you aren't going to stay here. So three of the four chancellors are new under my tenure. Uh, I've got, we won't say much more. Uh, I could tell you a lot of stories. But then, <laughs> then I've got eight vice presidents. Six of those are new also. We got about another dozen really high level people that are really important, they're all new. Now I believe really strongly when you can hire from within and move people up, you got a leg up because they've already been tested on the way up the ladder and they're gonna be much more successful. We've been very successful in doing it that way. But even more importantly, it says to everybody in the organization, you can move out. And I think that's terribly important for the institution and how people feel about that institution. So I feel good about what we've done. Now about the time I started, we started at Downshore, March of 08. And you know, people say, oh my God, what are you gonna do? Well, we were getting $229 million from the state, should have probably been 350 or more if we looked like what, to look more like our peers. Well, we dropped all the way down to $146 million from the state. Now my good wife, Marcy, says, well, you're only getting 5%, why don't you ask the state which 5% they wanna control of the university, which I think is a good question. <laughs> but uh, we haven't tried that yet. So. We've cut a lot of things. We put in new programs, new revenue generators. We pass legislation every year to give it, get that more freedom to run our place without the government hanging on top of us every minute. So there's been a lot done there. We put it in the Wall Street Journal. And thank you, Mary, for your help on all of that. And it's really making a big difference. And we have other people. I've got the University of Iowa president bringing half a dozen of his people out to talk to us about what we're doing and how we do it so they can do more. I made another friend last night, I'm not gonna talk about it, but there'll be another president that we'll be talking about that's new to find out how we do this. So it's really important. Now the other thing, and you've heard more about this and you're gonna continue to hear about it, and that's diversity. And I'm not gonna go into all the pieces of diversity, but diversity of thought is a huge, huge issue to me. And you heard some of that already. But we've already taken this, uh, we had the World Affairs Conference. It was a bunch of lefties coming in and talking to the students. Well, we got new management, they're gone now. We're bringing in more balanced operation. <laughs> and you know, we aren't there yet, but it's moving. It's the right management. So the next one, you know, Jennifer mentioned it. So we had the, uh, the conservative chair and we had Western Civ. 
so these two programs were, one of them was here and no students in it, and that was Western Civ with change management, got that going, and then we have brought the conservative chair in. We're on our fourth one now. They're truly outstanding people. And so we're now gonna put that together and endow it. We've got about a quarter of that endowment raised. We're looking at $20 million to endow this thing to make sure it lasts forever. We've also put in some more other programs. Got a couple of more chairs in, in free enterprise going in the business school. We got a couple more coming later that are gonna be in the law school. So we continue to do all of these things to move this ball down the field and make it a better place to operate. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm proud of these kids. Pardon me, they're a lot younger than I am. Uh, you talk to Charlie and, <coughs> and our, our tri-execs, I met with them last week, talking about what they're doing, how we're gonna make it a better place. So you got it bubbling up from the bottom and you got it from the top, and we're gonna merge all that together and we're gonna make it a much greater place. So I would just say thank you very much for this award. I'll accept it on behalf of my team because the team is the people that gets this done. And so thank you very much. And I really appreciate it, Jennifer. And I wanna work with you more and more in the future so that we can keep promoting this throughout the state of Colorado. Thank you very much.